It's important to feel fear. It stops us doing stupid stuff. For example, I'm scared of filling my pockets with bricks and dropping off a bridge. Therefore, I don't do it. But some animals weren't born with that necessary fear factor. These are the worst fearless animals on the planet, too. Number 15. Anaconda Here's the biggest snake of all the snakes in the world of big boy snakes, the green anaconda. Did I mention this was a big snake? Okay, good, because it is truly huge. They live out in South America and are fearsome creatures. Their girth is almost an entire foot, while they can weigh as much as 550 pounds. That's about the same weight as a full-grown pig. They are practically aquatic animals. <laughs> spending almost all their time in the water, and are of course known to be excellent swimmers. Their favorite food includes fish, birds, tapers, wild pigs, capybaras, and caimans, but they have even been known to eat jaguars. They do not use venom to kill their prey, like some snakes, but instead rely on constriction. They wrap themselves around their prey and then begin to tighten and squeeze until sensitive parts of their body detect that the heart has stopped beating. Then they know it's safe to start chugging that capybara. You need to make sure your food is dead before you start swallowing it. Things can get pretty rough if it wakes up halfway down. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Mongoose the mongoose is a small carnivorous mammal that lives in southern Europe, Africa, and Asia. The name comes from the Hindi word, mongoose, and they have long faces and bodies with short legs. But their most special feature is something that only four other mammals have, an immunity to snake venom. Most of their diet consists of insects, crabs, earthworms, lizards, birds, and rodents, but some mongooses are famous for their ability to attack and kill huge and deadly snakes, even the almighty cobra. They have amazing agility and a thick coat, and their venom-resistant system if they do get bitten. Some people keep mongooses as pets, and they can be domesticated to protect humans from rats and snakes, so these furry little guys are pretty useful pets. They were even sacred animals in the ancient Mesopotamia and Babylonia, as they were believed to be related to an important god who protected people from snake attacks. In Japan, mongoose snake fights used to be a popular specter sport, although this is thankfully no longer practiced today. If mongoose snake fights still existed these days, would you attend? And if so, who would you bet on winning? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 13. Praying Mantis The praying mantis is so called because of its front legs, which folds as though they are deep in prayer to some kind of insect god. This could give the impression that this is a serene and calm creature, but this is anything but the case. This is a badass insect, and it knows no fear. The way this particular bug was depicted in A Bug's Life is very, very, very wrong. They're 110% not chilled. These are carnivorous ambush predators with incredible speed of movement. They have a charismatic look, long and slender with a long neck, making them quite attractive. They also have some special features features unlike any other creature. For example, they have a form of 3D vision, which no other species has. They are also the only insects who can turn their heads from side to side like a human, and no need to move their whole bodies to get a better look at a situation adds to their reputation as amazing predators. They are even able to use their spiky legs to fight back against the bats who prey upon them. But the mantis, almost invisible among the leaves, is the nightmare for most insects. Can you imagine being the size of an average beetle and seeing one of these things? Terrifying. Number 12. Harpy Eagle The Harpy Eagle is the most powerful raptor in all of the rainforest. 
These are some of the largest eagles in the world, and they live in a variety of countries, ranging from Mexico to Brazil. However, don't expect to see one easily as these are extremely rare birds, which is good news for a lot of other stuff that lives in the jungle there, because when one does show up, it's bad news. You do not want to be an enemy of one of these guys. When they mean business, they mean business. They are huge and can lift as much as 27 pounds in weight. They do this with the largest talons of any eagle, and this means they can swoop down and pick up full-grown howler monkeys and sloths. With claws longer than a grizzly bear's, these birds are totally fearless and will take on pretty much anything that wants to challenge them. And one thing is for sure, it's the females you gotta watch out for, as they are often twice as large as the male harpy eagles. They reproduce very rarely, and maybe that's no surprise. The males might be a little scared to ask given that size difference. Number 11. Weta. The giant Weta is a kind of cricket, and it is a seriously huge one. They are flightless, but that's not surprising considering they are among the largest and heaviest insects in the world. Wetas mainly hunt and scavenge at night, but the giant Weta is herbivorous, which will come as a relief to all the other small stuff where they live out in New Zealand. The giant Weta weighs a huge 2.5 ounces, which is double the weight of the average mouse. They are seriously hungry and they love to eat, with their diet including lichen, leaves, flowers, seed heads, and fruit, as well as any other kind of vegetation they can get their hands on. They surely have nothing to fear in the insect world, although they're not the prettiest things out there. The Maori call the giant Weta the god of ugly things. They are now officially endangered, so conservation efforts are underway to try and protect them. But I'm sure these fearless insects won't go extinct without at least putting up a fight. Number 10. Black Mamba the black mamba is a legendary snake and is known to be the fastest land snake in the entire world. It can motor along at an amazing 12 miles per hour, which when you consider the fact it doesn't have any legs is pretty impressive. These snakes are also huge, growing to a massive 14 feet in length, and they are experts at climbing trees. So if you are ever being chased down by one of these monsters, don't think you're going to escape it by heading up into the trees. They are the most venomous snakes in Africa. And responsible for up to 20,000 deaths every year. Once they decide to go at you, it's bad news, as they will use all their strength and power to bite you repeatedly, pumping you with venom. This venom can kill a grown man dead in 45 minutes, which makes you think that this snake is kinda overpowered. Doesn't it have any weaknesses? Seems not. Better just keep well out of its way. Would you dare go toe-to-toe -to -toe against a black mamba? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 9. Hyena Hyenas have a bad rep, but are they really the bad guys? Or are they just a little misunderstood? They're often portrayed as evil and cunning. Remember the Lion King, anyone? But they are extremely intelligent, and it is claimed that they are even more intelligent than chimpanzees. Well, 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 who knew? They have complex social groups, kind of like dogs, but they are not closely related to dogs. In fact, they are more closely related to cats. Yeah, really. Don't say we don't teach you anything. Some people think of hyenas as scavengers, but they are also very capable hunters. They also know how to stand up for themselves and will even refuse to back down to lions in some cases. That 1,100 PSI bite force is surely something to do with it, stronger even than a lion's. You do not want those teeth chomping down on you, do you? That's gotta hurt. There's no denying that their creepy laugh has made some people think of them as evil, but they can be brave too. In an era where we should all be trying to be less wasteful, hyenas are setting a good example. When they kill something, they eat absolutely everything, even the bones. Well, who knew? Hyenas are little eco-warriors. Good on them. Number 8. Siberian Tiger the Siberian tiger is the biggest of all the tigers, and that makes this one of the most ferocious and fearless animals in the world. They are around 11 feet in length on average, and an adult male can weigh around 700 pounds. That's a lot of stripes and teeth. That is a lot of kitty cat. Every tiger's striped pattern is unique to that tiger, and no two are ever the same, which makes individuals easy to identify. 
but the Siberian tiger stripes are paler and there are less of them, as they try to blend in with the colder environments they live in. They also have thicker fur than other tigers. They live mainly in Russia, but are also present in China and North Korea, although they are extremely rare, and in serious danger of extinction. They are solitary animals, so at least you won't have to deal with a whole pack of these coming at you at once, but one is more than enough. And if you are unlucky enough to run into a hungry one, then you better say your prayers. Number 7. Komodo Dragon the Komodo dragon is an extremely terrifying lizard, which looks like it ought to have disappeared with the dinosaurs. And yet, here it is, being terrifying. These lizards rule the four Indonesian islands they inhabit. Flores, Rinsa, Gili Moteng, and Komodo itself. They can grow up to 10 feet long, and they love to eat. In fact, they can consume as much as 80% of their own body weight in meat every day. They love meat, with their favorite meals including pig, water buffalo, deer, snake, fish, and human. Yeah, that's right. This is one of those few animals on Earth that actively preys on human beings. The other thing they love to eat is other Komodo dragons, and cannibalism is all cool in the Komodo dragon world. When people get eaten by one of these lizards, it's often difficult to be sure what happened as the dragons will be eating everything. Bones, teeth, hair, the whole lot. They are also venomous, as if they didn't already have enough weaponry. So needless to say, the Komodo dragon doesn't really fear anything or anyone. Trust me, if I ever see one of these things, I am running a mile to get away from it. Number 6. Lion Lions are a symbol of bravery and fearlessness throughout the entire world, even being the national symbol of England. Despite the fact that cave lions died out in the UK 12 to 14,000 years ago, sometime in the Pleistocene era. There was even a famous English king of the Middle Ages known as Richard the Lionheart, and he was called this due to his incredible bravery in battle. And only the lion could ever express this idea of courage. Lions are totally fearless and will never give up a fight. In the old debate of lion versus tiger, it is usually considered likely that the tiger would win, due to its size and power advantage. But as we know, there's more to consider than just strength in a fight. And one thing in favor of a lion is its courage and heart, meaning the lion will keep fighting even when wounded and exhausted. <laughs> While a tiger is more likely to give up, lions are also the only social breed of cats in the world, and they live together in a pride, with the big males doing most of the protection work when they are threatened. Number 5. Goat Goats are one of our oldest friends, and are believed to be the first animal ever domesticated by humans a really, really long time ago. They are pretty smart and very curious animals, and they will come when you call them by their name, even if that is Goaty McGoatface. Some even climb down mountains, as we're sure you know. Goats also hate water and are fussy eaters, famous for never eating anything that's been on the ground. No five-second rule for these critters. They also use a sneeze sound as a means of communicating danger. But what if no one is around to hear you sneeze? And you have two massive cows trying to fight you? Well, you are just going to have to get your Spanish head on and go full matador, which is just what this little goat did, taking on two huge cows all by himself in a totally fearless display. Put this guy in a bullring and he would surely become one of the most famous bullfighters in history. Those horns are not a joke. No wonder goats are often associated with the devil himself. Number 4. Crowned Crane these are some large, long-legged birds, and they have straight bills with long necks. Kind of a classic crane shape. They live in Africa, but they are endangered now. However, laws have been passed in South Africa, Zimbabwe, Uganda, and Kenya to protect them from poachers and other threats. But there's not much African governments can do to stop elephants trampling through the crane's nests. Hey. I don't know if this is the male or female because both. So they have to deal with that problem all by themselves. 
and it sure does manage to put up an impressive fight against the huge pachyderm. You can see why there is a famous Chinese form of martial arts named after the crane, as it shows what an elegant and courageous fighter it can be. Finally, the elephant seems to back off and decides to take another route, one which isn't filled with angry cranes. Pretty sure I would do just the same thing if one of these crazy birds was stood in my way. The gray crowned crane is the national bird of Uganda and features in the country's flag and coat of arms. Number 3. Jaguar the jaguar is the ultimate jungle cat of South America. These predators have the most powerful bite of any big cat, and their technique for killing their prey is pretty brutal. They just bite right through the skull. Most cats aim for the neck, where it is soft and vulnerable, but since jaguars often leap from trees and land on top of their victims, it's just easier to bite right through the skull and get your teeth in the animal's brain. Does the job. They can also get through the hard shell of turtles and are known to eat caimans and crocodiles, being able to get through their thick skins. Jaguars come from a native word, jaguar, which means he who kills with one leap. And that tells you all you need to know about jaguar hunting style. These are the world's third biggest cats, after tigers and lions. Unlike a lot of cats, jaguars love to swim and can even hunt in the water. But they don't only eat crazy stuff, they also enjoy animals such as capybaras, deer, tortoises, iguanas, armadillos, fish, birds, and monkeys. Number 2. Polar Bear Polar bears are just huge beasts. A male polar bear can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, which is pretty insane. They have quite a different anatomy to other large bears, with very long bodies and long skulls, while their legs are quite short. They also have special claws, which help them to walk across the icy habitat of their native lands. They spent a lot of time in the water too, and these bodily adaptations make them excellent swimmers. He seems increasingly desperate. Being almost completely unchallenged in their natural environment, polar bears basically fear absolutely nothing. They are able to swim up to 200 miles in the icy waters of the Arctic, and they can take down some enormous prey like whales and walruses, but as we see in this video, it's not always as easy as all that to open up one of these giant cans of meat. The only thing that polar bears need to fear is other polar bears, and the females have a tough job when a strange male shows up. Sometimes they will kill young polar bears who have been fathered by another male. Number 1. Emperor Penguin Emperor penguins are pretty huge and amazing birds. Like a lot of penguins, they have a white stomach and a black head, back, tail, and wings. They live in Antarctica, which means they don't have to deal with polar bears at least, but they do have to deal with temperatures of minus 60 degrees, and they also have to deal with all kinds of other predators, especially when they are chicks. As we can see in this clip, a bunch of emperor penguin chicks are being harassed by a giant petrel. The petrel could kill and eat one of these junior penguins, so the situation is pretty serious. Then, like John Rambo, out of nowhere an adult Adelie penguin comes charging in to save the day. Never mind that this is a totally different penguin species, and that the adult Adelie is in fact smaller than a baby emperor penguin, he's just there to help his black and white cousins out. And the petrel realizes that it's time to make a move and get out of there. Which of these crazy fearless animals did you think was the most fearless? Have you ever had an experience with a fearless animal? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!